Hi, welcome to Brianna's Pickleball. My name is Jordan Brianna's, and in today's video, we're going to talk about misdirection. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's jump right in. Misdirection, a very important skill, especially if you aspire to be a high level player one day. Before we move on, I'm going to give you a real life example of some misdirection. Now, magicians and pickleball players don't have much in common, but one thing that they do have in common is they use misdirection very well. Now, in my pocket here, I have a little card here. I don't have any playing cards. This is from my kid's toy box. This is actually a green turtle. So I have nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand. All I have is this one card. So what I'm going to do in front of you is do a little bit of misdirection, but at the same time, I'm going to change this card. So as you can see, it is a green turtle here. And I don't know if you can see this, this is just a uh, orange or yellow uh, number two. I'm not really sure, but all I'm gonna do is turn this upside down and then I'm just gonna give it a little flick. And then there you go, it changes into a pink. What is this, jellyfish? But see, even if you did catch that, one thing you may not have caught is the color change of my hat. So there you go, that's a little bit misdirection. And before I changed the turtle, which is now really a jellyfish, you probably wouldn't even know that I changed it in front of you. So now let's get into how misdirection goes very well and you can use it on the pickleball court. All right, if you were fooled by that, go ahead and leave a comment below and make sure to give this video a like. So in today's video, we're going to talk about misdirection, but specifically, I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite shots to do on the pickleball court. It's a backhand misdirection volley from the non-volley zone line. And now, let's get right into it. All right, so this backhand misdirection volley is when I am playing on the odd side of the court. Now, as a right-handed player, I take a lot of backhand dinks cross-court, and I receive a lot of backhand dinks cross-court. So I will be in this position. Now, obviously, I can receive dinks that bounce, or I can also take dinks out of the air. So I like to execute this shot after a series of dinks, and I really, really like to lean in on this shot so that I can take some dink volleys out of the air. Really, misdirection is about disguise. So the best thing that I can do is try to keep all my shots looking the same, and then once I pull this shot off, it fools them because I'm just slightly going to open up my paddle down the line, and that is how we fool our opponent. So now let's go over the quick breakdown now. All right, so the setup for the shot is, I really, really wanna make this shot look like a dink volley. That's why I like to do this after a series of shots, especially if I'm leaning in well. So when I hit a dink volley, obviously my paddle angle is faced towards my target. So I'm gonna hit it out of the air and I'm leaning in like so. Okay, I could hit one here and this is what a dink volley would look like. So all I'm gonna do is instead of hitting a dink volley as I come across like here, I'm going to slightly open up my paddle here and, and you can see the slight adjustment. Instead of coming like this, the last second I'm gonna come like this and then this same motion, I'm taking it across my body and then this is gonna go down the line. Now remember, every time you hit a ball, it is the paddle face during contact is where that ball is going to get sent, okay? So obviously if I hit it like this, it's going this way. And if I open it up and during contact, it's face down the line, even though I'm going this way, that's where it's gonna go. So this shot is actually gonna have a little bit of side spin on it. And it's really, really hard to read if you execute it well.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed those few little clips there. Uh, last couple things is not to overuse this shot. Now I use this shot when I'm in a kind of a long extended dink rally and I actually set this camera right here right in front of me so the viewer at the non-volley zone line could see exactly what this shot looks like. So if I execute it well, um, it's, it's very hard to read. Now two other things here is try not to attack when I actually aim this shot down the line. I'm trying not to go straight to your body. I'm trying to kind of go on your dominant side if you're a right-handed player. So that's why you'll see a lot of my balls go really, really close to the line, trying to keep it away from your body. And the last thing is that you want to keep in mind is after this shot, if you're hitting a tricky or misdirection shot and you're trying to disguise it, we always got to be ready for the counter attack. So sometimes players will be ready for the shot or sometimes they'll pop it up. Either way, we want to be ready to counter attack back or defend or we got to be ready to clean up the mess. All right. Remember, this shot takes a lot of practice. This is definitely an advanced shot. Hopefully you really, really enjoy this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. For more awesome pickleball tips, head on to brionispickleball.com. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Lastly, for a complete drill workout routine that has really helped me throughout the years, go ahead and check out the link above. And also, if you are in the Phoenix, Arizona area, I offer lots of clinics here. So go ahead and check out the link below. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.